one saved, under God, one and indivisible. <clears throat> The meeting will please come to order. Do we have proof of posting in accordance with Chapter 551 of the Texas Government Code as amended by the Texas Open Meetings Act? Yes, ma'am. If there are members of the public who wish to address the court as to items that are on the agenda, you now have five minutes to speak if there is anyone. If not, we'll go to item number one, advance funds for the DU Volunteer Fire Department for the purchase of the 2016 Ford Large Brush Truck. We have a binding advance and reimbursement agreement, which you have a copy of. And this agreement says we will advance these funds and it does serve a public purpose to advance these funds through the due volunteer fire department for the purchase of this truck. And as the other part of the agreement, the, um, this has been approved for cost share assistance under the rural volunteer fire department program. And the due volunteer fire department agrees to countersign the reimbursement check over to Freestone County when they receive it from the Texas A&M Forest Service. And Freestone County agrees to fund the 10% match for the purchase of the truck. The um, process that is being used by the Forest Service has changed. Previously, we would, um, we would not have to pay for the, or the fire department would not have to pay for the truck up front. And, um, since this is, since their process has changed, that's what has brought our uh, change in process. And, uh, we thought we needed, we needed uh, an agreement signed by the fire department, just as a matter of uh, process. Well, was it was it ninety thousand? I thought it was two hundred. The grant was up to two hundred and eighteen thousand. The actual truck invoice is for ninety thousand plus a ten percent. Though is that correct? $80,389 is how much the truck cost, but the grant was willing to go as high as the $200,000 figure you mentioned. Is it 10% on top of this? 90, or is that the total? 90389 yeah. is the total. The county will ultimately just be responsible for the 10%. We're going to pay now the entire ninety thousand three eighty nine, and we will get a reimbursement check uh, of the difference of that. The ninety percent will come back to the county, and we will put that back in our funds again. And the truck will be titled, titled <coughs> Butler Fire Department. Do you do to Fire Department slash Freestone County? If it's just a grant match, the actual title of it, titling of it, um, I don't know truthfully how we've done that in the past. In years past, our insurance required it to be in both names. Mm -hmm. But that did change at some point. Yes. Um, I don't know if we had misinformation previously, but Donna had checked on that and it does not have to be. We can cover it on the insurance. We, even if, we can cover it even if, it doesn't, even if it's not That's my understanding. Not slash, don't care. As long as the services agreement that we have states that we will provide that financial assistance to the volunteer fire departments, which ours does, it says that we will insure their vehicles for them. So titling at that point is not, it's not an issue. So it won't be on our inventory at all, and there won't be, I mean, it'll be on due 
since we have no no ties to it, it'll be on those those fire department, right? Correct. What I have tried to start this year is the county did not have good inventory records at all. They weren't up to date. They weren't complete. And before I leave Freestone County, that is my goal, is to have those inventory records done, which is why we got RCI to come in and do the furniture and fixtures. What I want to do on these other assets, and we've already started, we're working on the property for a project for April, and then we're going to go into the volunteer fire departments, which has never been done before. But we're going to create asset folders for those assets that we are insuring, but we don't own. And we'll have them identified separately from the assets that we've actually purchased, titled, uh, that we own at the, our volunteer fire department. So you can tell the difference in the two. Any other discussion about the agreement and the advancing of the money? If not, do we have a motion? I make a motion to advance the uh, due fund. And enter into this agreement. Is that part of it? Okay. Thank you. Do you have a second? A second. All favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? None. Motion carried. <coughs> Item number two: uh, special road use agreements. Did that one come in, Andy? It's here. It's my lawn door. Every day in the fire line from Trinidad to Jewett, which will actually go across the whole county. Now they're on five and nine. I did put down the county the road numbers. I visited with Mike McCutcheon on this. Means they're crossing the whole county. I put down mine and Clyde's, but I don't know. I don't know exactly where it is in the other precinct. He said just leave it open and start adding them to it. But it's with on Cole and it's a sign to Mike McCutcheon, he's in the Dallas <coughs> office. All right. I feel pretty confident they're a good bunch of folk mm -hmm. that they'll help us. Is that a motion to approve it? Yes, Any discussion? Right. Would you like me to put um, all county roads and not list Is that what your motion is? Uh, yeah. Okay. All favor, aye. I'll be here on project for over a year. Motion carried. Do we have any comments? Just on this agenda, it says telephone communication. Does that need to be? Construction. Okay, the telephone construction. And this is power line. But it is a road use agreement. Yes, ma'am. So that's just general road use agreements. The notification of telephone construction. Generally, if they are going to be crossing a county road, they send us notification. We don't actually have to approve it because they have the right to do so. But it's just, that's, that's where we consider it on the agenda.